Hello and welcome back. This is Vanessa Graulich and today we're going to talk about options. So what are options? First, let's, let's understand the difference between stocks and options. So a stock is when you basically just say like, oh, I want to buy one share of Apple, right? You call your stock broker or, you know, you just say, okay, I want one share and they tell you, I don't know right now how much the, the share for Apple is, but let's just put a hundred dollars, right? And you're like, okay, give me a hundred dollars. You give a hundred dollars and they give you one share, uh, you know, for Apple. But options are not going to be like that. Options are going to give you the right of buying a stock or an asset at a fixed price within uh, in a specific period of time. So let me show you the difference between a call option and a put option so you can understand and you can see how, um, you know, you can find the price of, uh, basically you can find the exercise value of a put option and or a call option. So let's do it. Let me share with you this PowerPoint, uh, this PowerPoint, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> this Excel that I, that I built to make you understand what is uh, basically the, um, you know, the difference between a call option and a put option. So first let's start with a call option. A call option gives you the right of buying an asset, in this case a stock, at a certain price. So for example, you're gonna have like something like this, right? Like, like this graph right here, right? Look what this is. Closing price is the price of the stock. The strike price is the price that when you buy your right to buy, that's how much you can actually buy it. Not for 55, but for $50. Sometimes it can happen for $60, depending, you know, if you're gonna be in the money or out of the money. Now, depending of when you want to buy your call, so let's say you call a call option in February or March or May, Depending of the time, and obviously look, they get more expensive as they get closer to the future because of the time value of money, what's gonna happen? You will only pay $1 if you wanna do a call option in February to have the right to buy a certain stock at $50. That's basically how it is. If you do a call option in March, you're gonna have to pay $2 to have the right of buying a stock, the one that you're putting the call option on, for $50. And the same thing for me. Now, when will you exercise the, the, the option? What is the exercise value? The exercise value, so you're gonna have the closing price, which is the stock price. The strike price, this is the price where you say, okay, this is how I'm gonna be able to buy it. I'm gonna have the right to buy at this price. And then you're gonna have what is called the exercise value. Well, the exercise value is going to tell you basically how much money, you know, um, your, your, your option is worth to put it away. So if you're in the money, it's going to be greater than zero. But if it's negative, it's going to be uh, out of the money. So let's understand this and, uh, you know, make sense of uh, all of these numbers. So you go and you say, okay, I want a call option for February. And you go ahead and you give a dollar. That person, you know, doing the, the I, I guess I'm just making like an example. So you give $1 to the person and the person, you know, gives you an option where they said, listen, you have the option of buying the stock at $50. And you're like, perfect. You wait and your close price at 55 and you're like, yes. Why? For $1, you have the right of buying the stock at $50, going into the market and selling it immediately for $55. So $55 minus, five, uh, $55 minus $50, bingo, you're in the money. You immediately made a profit of $5. Now, don't forget, you also have to pay your $1 fee. So you actually have to do five minus one, and that's how much profit you make basically just by buying a call option. Let's say that you are, you go again and you're like, okay, I want to sell, a fe I want to uh, do an option, a call option for February, right? And this time I want to have the right of buying it for $60 and just put on an example. And you're just waiting, waiting, waiting. You're like, okay, I hope the stock goes up. The stock doesn't go up and the stock goes to 55, it closes. Well, this is the thing. For $2, you have the right of buying the stock for 60, but you don't wanna do that because you can just go out there, right? 
and basically buy it for 55. So this is the reason why you say, no, 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 it's okay. I don't wanna buy anything. Your worst loss is just the $2 because that's how much you just pay basically to wait. So this is the beauty of the call options that if, if they don't give you, uh, basically, you know, if the current price is greater than the strike price, you exercise the, the option. But if it's the opposite, just like here, you're like, you know what, next time, because why would you want to have the right of buying something for $60 when you can go to another store and buy, and buy it for 55? So you basically are going to lose the $5, right? Mine plus the $2, so you're gonna have a loss of $7. No one's gonna do that. And that's what the call option in this case will be out of the money. Let's talk about now the put options. The put options gives you the right to sell. So you go again to the same guy, right? And you tell him, look, I want a put option for March. Put an example. You give him a dollar. And he says, perfect. You have the right of selling this stock for $50. And you're like, perfect. And you wait. Remember, this is the right of selling. The stock price closes at 55. You're not going to exercise your put option because you're like, man, why would I sell it for 50, right? When outside I can sell it for 55. Remember, this is a right of selling. So you're like, no, thank you. You don't exercise your put option. And the worst that you can lose is just the dollar that you did to enter the field, but you did not exercise the, the put option. Let's go ahead and say the opposite. Let's say that you buy a, a February put option and you give the $2 to the guy and he says, perfect. You have the right of selling it for $60. You wait, you wait, you wait, and boom, the stock price is at 55 outside, and you're like, what? Yes, cha-ching. Because you, for $2, have the right of selling it for 60. So you immediately made a profit because you're in the money. You're gonna do 60, that you basically have the right to sell it, minus the 55, right? And then, that's five dollars you're in the money your put option is in the money because you have the right to sell it like again uh, for 60 which is much higher than what the close what the market you know close so you actually have leverage to put it away now do you pay five dollars i mean do you profit five dollars well remember this five dollars you also have to take in consideration the price of the put option so yes you still make some uh, good money so as you can see here this is what is a call option, and this is what is a put option. We call uh, call options, those are the buyers, and put options are the writers because they write options. When you have stock, you issue stock. When you have options, you write options. So that's basically uh, some of the, the vocabulary that traders use and, you know, <laughs> always making things a little bit more fun, to put it that way. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this uh, mini tutorial. I will have another um, more podcast on you know this topic, some options. I think it's fascinating, and I think technology is basically allowing everyone to enter into into this world. As we can see, uh, you know, GameStop and God knows what's going to happen now. And let's see how regulations are going to play now in the future because technology is just opening up, you know, new financial markets to set it away like Dr. Schiller <laughs> would have said from my class. Anyhow, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.